Hello my dear friends welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have one very very interesting and challenging exponential equation problem which we are going to solve for the real values of x. Here x cannot be 0 as we have x in the denominator. So we will begin with writing our base equal to a and exponent equal to b. So our form will become a power b equal to 1. We used to consider three different cases to solve such kind of exponential equation. So I will write the three cases first. In case 1, if our base a equal to 1 and power b belongs to real number, then we will get RHS 1. Case 2 is when our power is 0, at the same time base should not be 0. Then we will be getting RHS 1. And third case is when our base is negative 1. With even power, B should be even. Then we are going to get value 1. Let us understand through three examples. If I will write here 1 raised to the power 20. 20 is real number, base is 1. We will be getting 1. Example for case 2, if I will write 20 power 0. Here base is non-zero, which is 20, power is 0, value will be always 1. For case 3, I will consider minus 1 raised to the power 20. 20 is 1 E1 number, base is minus 1. We are going to get value 1. So we have to consider our equation under these three cases, case 1, case 2 and case 3. So I will write here case number 1. Here we are going to consider base equal to 1, a is 1. This was a, exponent was b. But base is 1, power should be real. So let us check a equal to 1 first. Let me write here a x square plus 1 over x square minus 1 equal to 1. Take all the terms to one side. We will write x square plus 1 over x square minus 2 equal to 0. Now this is one perfect square of x minus 1 over x in LHS. RHS is 0. Now we can take a square root both sides. We will get x minus 1 over x equal to 0. Now we can multiply our equation both sides by x as x cannot be 0. So we will get x square minus 1 from LHS and from RHS it is 0. We will add 1 to both sides and get x square is equal to 1. Now we have to only consider a square root both sides to collect our real solutions. So I will write here x will be equal to plus minus 1. Now we are going to check b of 1 and b of minus 1. Both should belong to real numbers. So I will write here b of 1. Then we are going to check b of minus 1. Both should be real. And what is b? b is our exponent. x plus 10 over x minus 11. Let us plug in x equal to 1. So we will write 1 plus 10 over 1 minus 11. So we will write 1 plus 10 minus 11. Value will be equal to 11 minus 11 coming out 0 and 0 is one real number. So our solution x equal to 1 is true. Now we will check b of minus 1. Let us plug in x equal to minus 1. So we will get minus 1 plus 10 over minus 1 minus 11 will be equal to minus 1 minus 10 minus 11. This will generate minus 22 and minus 22 is real number. 
so we will say our solutions plus and minus 1 are true solutions now we will consider our case number 2 let us write case 2 here here our power is 0 at the same time base should not be 0 and power is b base is a so i will write here x plus 10 over x minus 11 equal to 0 this is b equal to 0 let's multiply our equation both sides by x as we know x cannot be equal to 0 so we will get x square plus 10 minus 11 x equal to 0 or we can write x square minus 11 x plus 10 equal to 0 now we can see the factors of 10 as 5 times 2 or 10 times 1 so 10 times 1 we will consider addition of both will give us middle term coefficient 11 so we'll consider 10 times 1 let's say split minus 11 x as minus x or minus 1 x minus 10 x plus 10 equal to 0 now we will consider x common from first two terms so x minus 1 minus 10 common from last two terms so we'll write x minus 1 in the bracket equal to 0 now x minus 1 is overall common so in other bracket we can write x minus 10 equal to 0 now we can use product 0 rule we can write either x minus 1 equal to 0 so from there we are going to get x equal to 1 or x minus 10 equal to 0 so we will get x equal to 10 so from case 2 we are having two real solutions x equal to 1 x equal to 10 now we have to make sure a of 1 and a of 10 should not be equal to 0 so let's figure out let's find a of 1 a of 10 i will write here a1 i will write here a10 both should not be equal to 0 if solutions are accepted so we will put x equal to 1 here so we'll write 1 is square plus 1 over 1 is square minus 1 value will be equal to 1 plus 1 minus 1 so i can write 2 minus 1 value will be 1 and 1 is not equal to 0 of course so solution x equal to 1 is accepted now a 10 we will write 10 is square plus 1 over 10 is square minus 1 equal to 100 plus 1 over 100 minus 1 100 minus 1 is 99 so we can write 99 plus 1 over 100 which is of course not equal to 0 so our solution from case 2 x equal to 10 is also accepted so overall we can write x equal to 1 and x equal to 10 from case 2 now the turn of case 3 we will write here case 3 case 3 is our base a equal to negative 1 at the same time power should be even number so let us put a equal to negative 1 here we have a so i will write x square plus 1 over x square minus 1 equal to minus 1 we will add 1 to both sides we will get x square plus 1 over x square equal to 0 sum of two squares if it is coming out 0 we are going to get complex solutions so case number 3 will be rejected so i can sum up our solutions case 1 we have x equal to plus and minus 1 
from case 2 we have x equal to 1 and 10 and from case 3 there is complex solutions so i can write here our final answer would be plus minus 1 and 10 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye